Right, so median nerve. We are talking about palsy and tendon transfer. So median nerve, when it comes to injury, it is classified into low injuries and high injuries. This is in relation to the anterior interosseous nerve. So distal to anterior interosseous nerve, nerve is low, proximal to anterior interosseous nerve is high. Findings with the low you are mostly concerned about thumb opposition. This is a function that you will need to correct. There are few options that you could use to correct this function. You can use the palmaris longus transfer and this is called Camets. Other option is to use FDS from the ring finger, and this is called Bunnell. Other option is to use the adductor digiti minimi, and this is called. Huber. You can also use the extensor indices tendon. All right. So these are the option for the low injury. How about the high injury? which is proximal to the anterior interosseous nerve. In high injuries, we will have the low injury findings in addition to the anterior interosseous nerve function, which is FDB to the index and FPL, that's the thumb. So in addition to the above transfers, we also have the following options. To correct the FDP to the index. We can do buddying to the neighboring FDP. In that case, we have a great range of movement while we have decreased power. Another option to correct the FDP to the index is to use the extensor carbi radialis longus. This mainly depends on the synergistic effect of tenodesis. So that's ERC, ECRL to the FDB of the index. Then we need to correct the FPL 
which could be done by transfer of the brachioradialis tendon.